Hi everyone, my name is Austin and I'm going to be one of your unit coordinators this summer. Today I'm going to talk about campfires because they're one of my favorite parts of spending time at camp. Between cooking food over a campfire, spending time singing songs, and also just building the fire, I love campfires. So I wanted to share a little bit about what you can do at campfires, both at home and at camp. So to get your campfire started, you want to use a couple different types of things. So every campfire needs four things, and those are fuel, which is just some type of wood that you might use, um, oxygen, which is already in the air around you, but you have to make sure you build it so that oxygen can get to your fire. You want to make sure that there's heat, so something like a lighter, or you can also use friction, you can use a flint and steel, a couple different things. And you also want to make sure that you love your fire. So that means paying attention to it, making sure it has what it needs to stay lit, but also making sure that it doesn't get out of control. Now, there's three different types of fuel that you can use for your fires. So, the first type of fuel that you might need for your fire is tinder. So, Tinder is usually these really small sticks like this, or you can also use wood shavings or something like this. I also like to use paper, cardboard, and I also make my own little fire starters out of, out of paper and dryer lint. So I've got some dryer lint in there. Because dryer lint catches pretty easily and stays lit for a little while before it goes out. The next type of fuel you want to use is either something like this kindling that I have here or some bigger pieces of kindling over here. Kindling catches a little bit faster than big fuel logs like that, but also goes out a little bit faster. So it doesn't burn for quite as long, but it burns longer than tinder. So one of those is these big fuel logs. These are awesome to keep a fire lit for a really long time, but they take a long time to catch fire and you need something really hot. So before these, you might need something a little bit smaller. So there's a couple of different ways to start building a fire. My favorite is the log cabin. So that's what I'm going to show you all today. The log cabin usually involves stacking things on top of each other like this and just continuing to make squares out of the wood like that. So before I get my fire started, I wanted to show you all a couple of things that I'm putting into it. So first of all, you can see that log cabin structure there. And in the middle, I'm starting to stack all of my tinder. Once I have my fire lit, my favorite way to start it is by rolling up a tube of paper and then throwing it right into the bottom of the fire. As it starts to grow, I'll slowly add things to my fire, trying to get everything to catch in different places. Now that I've got my fire going, you can see that I've added some bigger logs to it. I'm also going to add in a little bit more of that tinder that catches really quickly to try and get it to get a little bit hotter so those bigger logs will catch. Now that I've gotten my fire started just a little bit, I'm going to show you how to make a really well-known campfire snack, and that's a banana boat. I just found out how to make these, so this will be my first time. We're going to learn together tonight. To make a banana boat, first you obviously have to start with a banana. I've kind of cut mine open right here, and left kind of a split down the middle, just like you would if you were making a banana split. So I'm going to add some peanut butter. And I'm also going to add some marshmallows. Alright, so the last part of any kind of campfire cooking is making sure that you get to enjoy what you eat. So, it's time to unwrap it. It got a little dark outside, so I came inside to enjoy my creation. Time to unwrap it. Ooh, and it looks... Perfect. No. All right, so that's how you build a fire and make a banana boat in your fire. What are some of your favorite campfire dishes to eat at Johnsonburg or at home? Let us know, and we're super excited to make these campfires with you during the summer. All right, I'll see you later.